schools have re, ha, are open and you can find them over um, on thegardenersworkshop.com. If you're interested, this is an in-person exclusive event. We only offer 35 seats. It's a morning of lectures, then hands-on demos down at the farm, Q and A's. Then we go out to the warehouse where, which is four miles away and do a big wrap up Q and A and you can check out our stuff. Um, and to, to purchase a ticket, you can just go to thegardenersworkshop.com and just search Lisa and it'll pop up to that um, event page. So just some housekeeping. Um, please remember to include and update your email and phone number here in the app. If you're placing orders, if your email is incorrect, we can't send you shipping notifications. And if we need to talk to you about your shipment, we can't call you if there's a typo in your phone. So please just double check those for us. Remember that here in the app, seed only orders ship for free. That means if you just come in and order seed packets, doesn't matter how many you buy, the shipping is on us. Standard product shipping, like if you buy stuff, is capped at $9.95, and that's what the big deal of the day is today. I'll tell you more about that when we get to it. And remember that we ship to all 50 of the United States. Now, um, if you're joining us from social media, I am so glad you're here, friends. Um, but you just need to know that we have a phone app, which is free. You just get it at your phone's app store. Just search Gardener's Workshop and download it because you have so many more features that you can actually do. One of them is you can build a favorites list. Um, and you'll find that feature at the bottom bar on your um, app after you start adding to it. That's where you would go in and find it. Um, there's also a replay feature, which um, means you can go in and watch previous shows, and which is really a great thing if you want to see the harvest of some of the flower seeds you're thinking about. You can go back to last summer and scroll to that in the ribbon for that video and pop, hit it and it pops right to where that flower is in the video. It's pretty cool actually. And in um, the app, you can comment and carry on conversations normally. We don't know if that's operational today, it's not. Um, so don't be discouraged, there is an app outage on the comments, um, but that's normally there. Now, two more things and then we're gonna just talk about the giveaway. Um, if we often sell out of products during the show, and if that happens and you go to put something in your cart and it says out of stock, get on the wait list, you may want to choose to get on that wait list, which simply means that we're going to send you a little ding when it gets put back in stock, because this is what's often happening. The team is bringing stock over from our big website over to the app. They do not communicate, y'all. And so they have to digitally do those processes. So you might wanna get on the wait list. And then lastly, um, if you're seeing folks post, see the sunflower emoji, which is our logo. Uh, when people are posting those in the comments, we love it. it makes our hearts swoon, y'all. Um, those are people identifying themselves as our TGW family. Those are our students of taking of any of our courses. And so we love when you guys do that. Now, how are we going to do the giveaway? I don't know. The sold is yeah. not coming up either. The sold oh, at the yeah. top. Oh. So I tried typing sold 101. Sorry, y'all. We're just trying to do some triage here. So we can't see even the list of viewers anywhere that we can just select one. So we're working on this and we're gonna figure it out, but this is, we're trying to give away a $25 store credit today, y'all. And that's what this is all about. Normally, you would post in the comments um, or hit the buy button that Susie would have up and that would put you on the list. Um, but that's not functioning today. So. so enter in sold 101 and Jessie said she is able to see the wait list. Okay, Jessie has just told us that if you type in a comment Sold 101, no space, right? No, with a space. So the word sold, space 101, that enters you in to the um, win the $25 store giveaway. Jessie can see the name. She could see Suzanne's coming through. So just type that in the comment. This is the way we used to have to do it in the old days, y'all. Um, type sold, space 101, 
and um, that will actually um, get you on the wait list. And I'll pull that at the end of the show. So how are we going to sell stuff? We're going to have to tell them each number. So we're going to tell if you, as I hold stuff up, we're going to tell you a product number and you type the product number in and that adds it to your cart. Um, so this is the last chance, y'all. So last week we featured for the first time our tuberoses. These were dug from my garden. Um, and so we shipped a ton and then we reevaluated it. Oh, it's coming up. Hallelujah. I was not looking forward to all those stock numbers, y'all. Um, so we shipped everybody's that bought them last week and then we regrouped and we have a few available this week. And this is the end, y'all. Um, this will not happen again probably for four or five years, if at all. That's how often we dig them. Tuberoses are a tuber. They're winter hardy here in zone eight and south. Um, but zones up north of that would dig them like you do dahlias. Um, the, the clump is $9.95. Um, it's in-app only and while supplies last. They will be gone. I'm telling y'all, they bloom from midsummer to fall for us. They're fragrant like gardenias. Um, and this is the perfect stage to cut when the bottom one flower is actually open. Um, open. And this is the Mexican Single Blooms the most fragrant. They grow about three feet tall, and um, you will absolutely love them. So, the tip of the day is... I'm just going to tell you, wait, I am stuck on the Sold 101. Just, um, they may... We'll just yeah, so we're figuring this out as we go. It appears that the giveaway... Oh, oh. All right, so we there's some real glitches going on, y'all, and we apologize, but these things happen from time to time. So the tip of the day today is, you know, and I think if I sing it so much in this book that I'll tell you about in just a minute, you are never too late to get started growing cut flowers. There is always, you just go in and see where you are in your season and just pick up where you need to pick up and go on. What do I mean by that? It's like if you're in the middle of summer and you're just now, you're thinking, oh, it's just too late. First off, it is never too late. You find out what seeds you can still start. I can think of a bunch of seeds I can start in the middle of summer. Many different warm season annuals. Not to mention sunflowers. We start every week up until September. There's so much to be done. And even if you're talking about November, there's almost always something that you can do in or for your garden, no matter what type of gardening you do. And so it's never too late. That is perhaps one of the most common things that we hear from people, gosh, all the time. They're already saying, am I too late to start zinnias? We haven't even started our zinnias yet. And we start them all summer long, y'all. So we have to put that myth aside. And so it's never too late. You just pick up where the season is and go. And beginners are always welcome to dive in, y'all. We all have to start somewhere, right? So if you want to dip your toe in first, um, you a good place to get started is my book, The Cut Flower Handbook. This is a comprehensive reference tool. Um, and I would love to sign a copy for you. So when, and we understand a lot of the other booksellers are sold out of the book temporarily, um, but we have plenty of stock and I would love to sign a book for you. I sign all the books. I have signed currently over 5,000 books, y'all. Um, so I sign all the books and when you purchase from us, you also get the download flowers that didn't make the handbook. That's a PDF download of the book, the flowers we just could not fit into the book. Um, and y'all, I just, look at the back of the book. The back of the book is as beautiful as the front. And inside, it's even more beautiful. It's 240 pages. It features over 66 different flowers. It takes you through what is a cut flower garden and how you make it function and work and then actually how you do all the individual steps. So I would love for you to have the book and the download that I'm telling you about comes on your bookmark. So, and it's also in your email confirmation. Um, so would love to sign a book for you. All right, the next book is 
Um, especially if you're just getting started, Vegetables Love Flowers is really about how a cutting garden really benefits your vegetables. It's not about growing vegetables, y'all. And it's really about my method of gardening, meaning pesticide free. Um, so this features far fewer flowers than the Cut Flower Handbook. And this is more about the system that I actually grow here on my farm to invite creatures, beneficial insects, and how we just avoid using any pesticides at all. And again, I would love to um, sign a book for you, and this comes with a free video book study that comes along with it. We're having a problem with the product she's talking about is not coming up on the screen for you to purchase. And every time I close my app out and open it back up, it comes back up. So if you wanted to purchase something and it's not coming up in the feed at the correct time, close your app and reopen it. And if you hit the shop button down here, it'll bring up everything that she's talked about and you can add it to your cart there. Sorry guys, the platform is having an issue today. Yeah, old school Susie said, get a pencil and a piece of paper. So what we're saying is, sister, they can watch the show, then they can go out at the end, reopen it, and, and hit, what's it called? Shop, shop at the bottom. It's, just, it's shop. just shop at the bottom, hit it, and all the products that we featured will come right up. Um, so you should be able to get it that way. And yeah, you know, gosh, y'all, technology is what made me gray. All right, so in my book, Cool Flowers, um, which we also have in stock, this also comes with a free video book study. This is a deeper dive on the actual cool season hardy annuals. Um, this little simple book is what has revolutionized a lot of flower farmers starting with spring flowers, especially those of us like me that do not have any greenhouses. Um, so this little book is $22.95 and um, I am gonna actually, well, I'll show you um, later, but this is some Sweet William, which we talk about. That's a cool flower, right? Um, and also, this is where I should show you this. This is um, Lambada. These are ready to go to the garden. This is a cool flower, which is in the cool flower book. These are seedlings that are ready to be planted out in the garden, and you'll learn how we actually do that here in just a moment. All right, so we were talking about if you were just getting started um, and a great way to stick your toe into the pool or the pond or the tub, whatever your choice is, is to get started with a little um, seed collection. So we made these several years ago based on our best um, performing flowers here in our garden, number one customer favorites, um, and those that are just the workhorses of our farm. This is the Cut Flower Garden Collection. It includes a garden plan and layout. Um, it also includes some additional instructions from me on the inside. It comes with six packs of seeds, individually packaged, um, to give you a big handful of cut flowers all summer long. So this is $22.95, and this is the perhaps the most versatile, perfect get started gift. I mean, y'all, it's our, we should already be thinking Mother's Day. This is the, this and a pair of gloves and some flower food and a pair of clippers or any mix of those things is the perfect Mother's Day gift. And then another one that we especially um, love is, this is the same type of collection, except these are all pink flowers. We created this when I had breast cancer about, gosh, how long ago was that? 14 years ago or something. Um, and so this has got all the pink flowers and it is just really a great opportunity to talk about early detection, which I'm a poster child of that. Um, and so this also includes six packs of individually packed flowers um, and it comes with that diagram and more individual instructions. And then if you really wanna have a fun little garden, this is the sunflower garden. So this includes also, you know, the garden plan and the layout and some additional instructions. And I will tell you, this is a mix of branching sunflowers and single stem sunflowers. And 
This, you can actually cut some and leave some in the garden for your birds. Um, if I'm remembering right, I think most of these are all black oil seeds, sunflower seeds. So the birds love it when you let the flowers actually go to um, seed, you know, so that, I mean, the finches, um, it's just, it's really a lot of fun. So that's the sunflower seed collection. And each one of those are $22.95. Um, and so I am, nope, 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 it's sieve first. So before we dive into soil blocking, I'm gonna show you what our deal of the day is, y'all. This is one of my favorite products that we have here at the Gardener's Workshop because it made my life so much easier. This is the sifter. It's the sifting pan and it fits perfectly on top of a five gallon bucket, which makes it super easy and convenient because when you're making soil, whether you're making the DIY soil at home with your peat moss and compost or using our ready made mix, we recommend sifting it all because you just don't want chunks of anything in your seed starting mix. So this is normally $24.95, Today, it's on sale till Sunday at 8 a.m. for $19.95 or $19.96. Um, so get a sifter and I mean, that is perhaps one of my most favorite things that I use. So we're gonna do a, um, let me just review what is all the pricing first. So I'm gonna do a soil blocking demo. Um, and so I guess let's do, the, let's do the blocker first, I reckon. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and then we're gonna look at some of the different ways that you have options to actually get it. And, all right, so I've got my blocking mix here, which is, you know, as we've spoken so many times, but I will say it again, we have so many newbies here that um, this is blocking mix, which is really kind of different than seed starting mix because blocks um, don't ever go in a container. You want a very binding blocking mix and that's what this is. The recipe is always available on our website um, as well as we have the ready-made mix, which is what this is. This is the small blocker and you can see this makes 20 of the small blocks, which is the most frequently used blocker that I use, right? Most of the time. It's a two-handed job. You just push it down into the mix, and I like to push it down twice to make sure that my chambers are nice and full. This is a potato masher, y'all. I find that tool to be the best for mixing the soil with the water as well as striking off the excess. And so this is one of our foam trays, which you can see has been reused over and over. We do not intend for the, these to be disposable. No drainage holes, and it's a flat bottom. I just place the blocker on the tray, give it a little squeeze at the plunger, and there you go, friends. It makes 20 of these little soil blocks. Then we sow a seed in each block, and 99% of the time, we grow this in this block until it goes to the garden. Um, so that is how you actually make the small soil blocks. So now let's take a look at, while they're getting us set up here, it's me again, y'all. I wanted y'all to actually take a look at what's behind me here. So this is our tabletop 24 inch grow light. And y'all, that's 24 inches, right? This is 400, 400 little seedlings that are going on here. And I'm gonna introduce you to each one while they're getting me set up. So this is, if you love these green trays, these aren't available in the app. You'll find those over on our big website. This is Gumpfrina Babies. This was started March 27th. What is today, the 4th? So these are like what? What does that make them? A week and a half. Week and a half, 10 days old. So that's Gumpfrina, and this is 100 of those small blockers. And then this is Sweet William. Um, this is the Sweet William Amazon Rose Magic. This is the only variety that we actually succession plant. And these guys were just born and they're coming right along. And then this, I wanted to show this particularly. These are celosias. And I don't know if y'all ever have this issue, but sometimes the seed hangs on. Um, we call that helmet head. And we just, I just take a pair of snippers 
and just snip that off. Don't worry about cutting the leaves a little bit. So this is a hundred of these little seedlings. And this is another tray that's a few days older than the one I just, this is more celosia. This is a hundred seedlings. So all 400 of those seedlings grew in this little tabletop area, but I'm just gonna set up um, our complete kit there as we go along. And I did wanna share, so this is Limbata. It's a cool season hardy annual. And this is 60 plants, y'all, on this little large foam tray. These actually probably should have been planted a couple weeks ago, but we've been using them. But just look how healthy and happy they are. And that is at a, like five inches by 12 inches for all those to grow. So I am gonna set you up here with what comes in the complete kit for indoor seed starting. Um, so it is, the, whole, the the cost of the kit is $247. That's a savings of like $45 than buying all the stuff separately. But the special of the day, or the, till Sunday at 8 a.m., is that you will only pay $9.95 shipping. Um, that is giving you a savings of $9 to $23. It just really depends on where you live in the country. Um, there's additional shipping charges when you purchase it normally because it costs that much to ship it, y'all. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes in this kit. How do I want to build this? Let's put the big stuff first. So I'm gonna do this a little bit different. I'm setting it up. So this kit includes, first off, the grow light. And this grow light includes a built-in timer. You do not have to have a separate timer. You can choose either 12 or 18 hours, and I use it for 18 hours. Um, and let me just show you, since we've got this set up so nicely here, um, this thing is so easy to put together and to adjust. You just pull this down, and that allows you to adjust the height. It is just so super easy, y'all. I was so impressed with how easy this all went together. So that is the grow light. So I believe it's 18 inches by 24, and it'll support up to 400 of those small blocks. So that's in the kit. This is the floating row cover, which is what we use to protect our seedlings with, um, whether it be from varmints or cold wind. This is a six and a half foot wide by 50 foot long piece, and that comes in the kit. This kit also includes five of those foam trays that you just saw that held three sets of 20, five foam reusable trays, it includes the seed starting pan, it includes the toothpick dispenser and toothpicks, and also 10 little four inch wooden plant markers, as well as written instructions, um, which um, have the recipe and step-by-step -step instructions. It also includes your choice, you choose cool or warm, five packs of seeds. So this is the cool season, is that the cool? Yes. This is the cool season seeds, or you can select the warm season seeds. So it comes with five packs of seeds that you can start. It also includes my seed starting course, Seed Starting Made Easy. And this is about 110 minutes long, broken up into a lot of little sessions. I teach you how to start seeds out in the garden, how I sow sunflowers, and how to soil block from beginning to end and actually getting them out to the garden. So you get this um, course, and that would be granted on Monday. Um, it doesn't automatically happen. The kit also includes the small soil blocker. It includes a bag, a five quart bag, or six, six quart bag, of the blocking mix that we use. This is enough to make approximately about 3,000, I'm sorry, five to 600, I'm sorry, I was thinking about the nutrient mix, um, about five to 600 of the small blocks. So you could definitely fill your grow light up with the um, package of ready-made mix. Suzanne's just planned for me, thank goodness. And then we also include the um, seed, seedling heat mat. So this has a built-in thermostat. This is one of the pieces that I find people miss and they're struggling. The soil has got to be warm to get your seeds to germinate quickly 
and evenly. So this will hold foster at least like three or four, at least three, sometimes four, depending on which trays you're using. Um, so this is one stop in the process. So that is the seedling heat mat. We also include the seaweed, um, Neptune's Harvest Seaweed Fish Fertilizer. This is liquid. This is what I use in my watering can every Monday. Um, I use the house plant dosage that's right on the back, which is a, a tablespoon to a gallon. Um, and once my seedlings come off the heat mat and go to the grow lights, everybody gets a dose of this once a week. And it just makes for super healthy, not fast growing, but growing transplants, right? And then fungus gnats are always a problem whenever you're starting seeds indoors. So we include the fungus gnat fighting kit. Um, and this is available separately in the app. Um, this is the yellow sticky traps that capture the adults that are actually laying their eggs on the moist soil. And then when you put the mosquito bits in your watering can each Wednesday or one day a week, and you just do your regular watering with this, that eliminates any developing larvae that are in your soil blocks, right? So that is included with the kit. And we also include a piece of the um, wide weave burlap that I like to use, particularly when I'm surface sowing se um, seeds. They dry out very quickly. Um, and I like this wide weave burlap because air um, can go through it. However, it still captures and retains moisture. So this is a 36 inch by 36 inch piece and that also comes with the kit. So all of that, friends, let me just step back here and take a look. So this includes everything you see here, the grow light, the heat mat, the fungus gnat fighting kit, the fertilizer, the burlap, the small soil blocker, my seed starting made easy course, five packs of seeds, the blocking mix ready made, um, five of the large trays and the toothpick and toothpick dispenser, wooden markers and the seed pan. And friends, you get all of that for $247.95 plus $9.95 shipping. And I just wanna say, you can drop $250 at the plant store without even getting a second cart. <laughs> and you don't get to pick and choose. I mean, when you start starting seeds, friends, you open a vast opportunity of selections. All right, so let's just say you're thinking, oh my gosh, I just don't wanna, I'm not sure. All right, so let's move to the first step kit. And that is what we call the soil block maker. So the soil block maker kit is actually the small blocker, Again, cluster of 20 of the three quarter inch. It includes the seed starting made easy course, so you'll know how to do it. It comes with those same trays, the seed pan, the toothpicks, and the toothpick dispenser, as well as the wooden markers. And it comes with three packs of seeds instead of five. And you again have your choice. You can choose warm or cool. And friends, these are our favorites. These are not these are like the best selling ones and you get to choose which ones you actually want. And it also comes with the ready-made mix. We recommend you sift everything, um, so you would need to sift it, but this is six quarts um, of the blocking mix and that is $89.95 plus $9.95 shipping. Um, so that is kind of where you can start if you're not sure and you know you don't wanna make your own seed starting mix. Then we have what's called the DIY block maker. And that includes- You just did. No, I just did the soil block maker. The oh, DIY is the nutrient. So the DIY soil block making kit is $49.95, so it's an easier start. However, you have to make your own blocking mix at home. And so we include the nutrient that you mix with your potting soil, I'm sorry, potting um, compost and peat moss, sorry y'all. And you can use peat moss or cocoa fiber, it's your choice. Um, and this has the recipe right on the package. This package will make enough recipes along with your ingredients to make about 3,000 of those small blocks. So the DIY kit includes that, 
the blocker, and the seed pan, and it's $49.95. Um, so that's a great place if you're a DIYer and you wanna make your own soil mix um, and you just feel confident, that would be a great one for you. Now, because we have sold so many of these soil block maker kits on this show, and we have, I mean, we've just sold, that's our number one selling item, right? We've created the Seed Starting Expansion Kit. This kit is what takes your Soil Block Maker Kit and turns it into the complete kit. It has all the missing pieces, the difference between the two, right? So, what you would be getting with this is the grow light that is behind me, the 24 inch grow light, the row cover, the seedling heat mat. Oh, just, that's a good idea. It also comes with the fungus gnat fighting kit, which is the bits and the sticky traps for the adults. And it has the fertilizer, the Neptune's harvest, seaweed fish, which is what I use every week in my watering can. I also use this in the garden, y'all. love that stuff. And the burlap. So that is the expansion kit is $161.95 and you save and ship and it's $9.95 shipping. But let me just say this to make it clear for everybody. If you bought a complete kit and the expansion kit and 10 other things, you still only pay $9.95 shipping, y'all. Um, so you, the seed expansion kit normally would have an additional three to $11 shipping on top of that on the big website because that's how much it costs. But here in the show today, you get it for just $9.95 shipping. And so here is the expansion kit, the grow light, the burlap, the heat mat, the row cover, the fertilizer, and the bits, all for $161.95. And the light has a built-in timer. Yes, and this grow light has the built-in timer, which I thought was just the best feature of this thing. I totally love this light, y'all. It's super light and easy to put together. So that's how you can get started soil blocking, right? And seed starting. So next up, what do you do when you have a big seed? That's when we use the two-inch blocker. Um, so this makes four of the two-inch blocks, and I would use this for zucchini, squash, sunflowers. I do use it for sweet peas. So this is $46.95, and I don't use it as often, but when we need it, I mean, we're getting ready to start squash next week. There's no, uh, we, and we don't want a bunch of squash, squash plants. So Bobo usually starts two sets of four, and we have eight squash plants, right? Now, it comes with these attachments for that you put in them, but that's a little nipple, and that makes a hole for your seed. You can also purchase separately the inserts, which make a perfect hole in the top of the two inch blocker to receive a three quarter inch blocker. When do I do that? We don't do it very much, but when we do it, we really need it. For instance, eucalyptus, slow grower, y'all. We bump, we start it in January. At the beginning of February, we bump them up, right? Um, we also do that with tomatoes and peppers and eggplants. Those are just long haul plants and we want them a little bit bigger. So the inserts are $9.95. Um, and you purchase those separately from the blocker. Now, you can also purchase the blocking mix separately. Um, so this is the six quart bag, it's $15.95 and makes five to 600 of the small blocks. There is a larger bag of this available over on thegardenersworkshop.com if you would need that. Um, so that is, and it's only $9.95 shipping. That's another one I'm almost certain has additional shipping when you purchase it. Y'all, it just costs more to ship them. Um, so that's part of the deal. All right, so now we're at the foam trays. Um, and friends, again, I wanna just say, these are reusable. These are not intended to be thrown away. We use them over and over again. This is the mini. The mini is five and a quarter inches square. You can get a five pack or a 25 pack. Is that price right? So go up a little bit, Susie. I can't see what, oh, there you go. So I'm sorry, the five pack is $1.95 of the minis. This is the small, which holds two clusters of 20. This is $2.95 for a five pack. Or you can get what we call the large, which holds three clusters for $3.95. All three of those are available in 25 packs. You'll find them right here inside the app. 
Um, and this is what we start our tomatoes on, y'all. Um, Bobo just did that yesterday, and um, so totally love having different sizes. All right, friends, let's talk a little bit about what saves us around here for weed pressure. Um, this is Bio 360, the biodegradable film. Looks like plastic, sounds like plastic, everything about it looks plastic, um, but it is also, it does have some bioplastics in it, but it's minimal. This is a corn byproduct product, and it is compostable, meaning it breaks down in your garden. Um, it's not like landscape cloth. It's pretty easy to pop a hole through. Um, it comes with a black, dark side, and a light side, either gray or white. It varies from time to time. Um, we use this on all of our beds except where we're direct seeding in the fall. We don't use it. Um, this is available in 50-foot and 100-foot pieces. Um, so a one-pack of 50 is $24.95. A six-pack of 50s, meaning if you're doing multiple beds, is $119.95. Bobo and I could talk all day just about the labor savings um, in using this, and there is definitely a learning curve to learn how to install it. We did it by hand for years, um, and I do have a tractor implement now, but it is possible both ways. Now, we also offer it in 100-foot lengths, um, and that comes in a one-pack for $39.95 or a three-pack for $110.95. Um, I just can't tell you how great it is for weed suppression right after you first plant, you know, before your plants really fill out. And something I'm currently doing right now um, in our garden is installing flower support netting. So this is plastic. It's got six by six squares. We also use this as a planting grid. Um, it comes in a 20 and a 50 foot piece, $11.95 and $21.95. And this is what we install before our plants reach their halfway to maturity size, because you install this at about, if it's a 48 inch tall plant, when it grows up, this should hit it at 24 inches is where you install it. And you want the plants to grow through it. So you install it before that happens, right? Um, and so this is what keeps our flowers up in rain and keeps the stem straight. Um, so if you need like a 3,000 foot roll or even 300 feet, you'll find that over on our big website. But here in the app, we have 20 and 50 foot pieces. And that's this is what gives you peace of mind during rainstorms, y'all, for sure. So sister, why don't you jump in here and okay. Suzanne's gonna help us out. Hi guys. So right now, I just wanna say, if you're having difficulties on the app, we apologize. There is a glitch that the platform is having, but if you close your app and come back in and go to shop at the bottom, which is the button at the very bottom, it'll bring up all of the products that we've been talking about so far, and you can um, get further information for them there, add them to your cart, so just be sure and do that, or you can wait till the end of the show and close it, and then when you open it back up, they'll all be in there, right in that little shop area, so that you can um, shop that way. So what we have first is our waterproof garden marker, and if you saw the tray that Lisa was just using to start her seedlings on, these things write on plastic or masking tape or just about anything, wood, glass, and it lasts and lasts and lasts. It lasts longer than any Sharpie or any other kind of pen that we have tried to use um, out in the weather. It still will last. So the marker is $6.95, and be sure to get a couple of those for your seed starting so that you'll know exactly what those seeds were when you started them. <clears throat> Next up, we have what we call our Bobo Hand Weeder. We call this because this is Bobo's favorite tool for poking a hole in the Bio360 to um, poke a hole for the transplants. You wanna make the hole as small as possible and this is the perfect size for the little transplants. So the Bobo hand weeder is $7.95. It's got a nice wood handle and the stem of the tool goes way down into the handle. So this is an awesome tool. Be sure to get one for you and your loved ones. Next up, we have our sod harvesting knives. Now these are what you should be putting down in the soil to dig things up, not your clippers, not other tools that shouldn't be down in the soil. This is made for it. These are kind of like a little Ginsu knife. They're 
got the little serrated edge on them and it's very sharp perfect for separating your uh, perennials Lisa uses it to get the twine off of the tiller or the tractor um, I use it to cut open bags of mulch we're older it's easy for us to buy a few bags of mulch and drag them over to our flower bed and I just rip it open with this dump it and I'm done so these things are sharp and uh, handy to have around for lots of different uses. The Sod and Harvest Nice bundle is $17.95, and that's perfect. You could get it and have two gifts or get them both for yourself. $17.95, and they're also available separately in the app, so you could buy one size or the other. Next up, we have our tool belt. Why we love this tool belt? Comes with its own belt, which is nylon, and it has this little um, clasp here and it's pretty good size so it will fit most as a place for your water bottle your cell phone we used to carry our cordless phone from the house around in this years ago that's how long we've been selling these Lisa's laughing any of you remember having a cordless cell phone our cordless phone out in the garden with you instead of a cell phone holds a bottle of water your clippers um, it's really lightweight so you don't get really hot with this one and it's $22.95 and it's a great tool to have um, to use when you're out in the garden. That's right and we turn it around we put it on and then we turn it around so it's on the back so that you can bend without it getting um, caught up on you so that way it's a little easier to manage. Next up we have the shear and pouch. <clears throat> this is Lisa's shear and pouch. Mm -hmm. I know it's Lisa's because it has an L on it. That means um, don't touch it. <laughs> And this pouch she has had for a lot of years. This is what the pouch looks like new. And of course, if you want one, we'll obviously send you new clippers with no L on it. Sorry, if you want an L, put it in the comments, we'll try. So this is the shearing pouch. We love these. This pouch has a little clip, so it clips to your pocket, so you don't have to wear a hot belt in the summer to be able to use this. And we always use this to keep our clippers from being lost in the garden. If you're out working and set your clippers down, the phone rings or somebody's calling you at the fence and you forget they're there, next thing you know, they're tilled under the soil and they're gone until you till a few years from now and they come up all yucky. Always have a pouch for whatever tool you use. It slips right in. This will fit lots of different size um, shears and it's always on your hip. You always know where it is, you don't lose it. So the shear and pouch kit is $60.90 and they're available separately in the app as well. That's what we all use here on the farm. We love them. Next up, we have the CVBN tabs. So the CVBN tabs are a little chlorine tablet that we put in every bucket on the farm. Very few things that don't get one of these. Hydrangeas don't get it. Um, they just don't need and it. And basil don't get it usually, but Everything else gets one of these tablets to a gallon of water, and this stays constant for up to 72 hours, unlike homemade recipes, which don't really last that long. What this does is it gives the first drink your flower gets of perfect water that doesn't have bacteria in it. And there are some flowers that are I call flower side. They kill themselves because they excrete things from their stems that are really harmful to them in their water. Um, so those are the dirty dozen flowers. So this really helps those, but really it, every flower would benefit. So one CVB in tab to a gallon of water in every bucket you use to harvest. And we, this comes in a one count for $18.95. There's 80 tablets in it, or you can get two bottles for $29.95 and use it. It really does make a big difference. Next up, we have the bulb food. And I just um, realized something here I'm gonna tell you all about on the other food. This is the bulb cut flower food. This is um, really beneficial to any flower, but especially those that come from bulbs. It has an extra hormone in it that um, keeps the leaves from turning yellow, um, helps them maintain better. Dahlias, dahlias, tubers, um, anything like that that comes from a bulb itself. So the bulb flower food, the quart packs, um, are 50 of them for $11.95 or 100 of the quarts is $19.95. And then we also have the clear fresh flower food. And I just realized that it said on the packet universal, which is a great way to explain it. This is for any flower. 
This is the same thing that's in the bulb food minus the hormone for the bulb. So this can be used with any flower and it really does extend the flower's life if they're drinking water properly like garden flowers do. The 50 pack quartz is $11.95, 100 pack is $19.95. They also come in a pint size and the pint is 100 pack for $12.95. So don't underestimate how much they really do benefit your flowers. Next up, we have Quick Dip. Now, this is a st uh, stimulator. This is what florists use when they have flowers come in the back door in a box from South America that haven't seen water in a long time. They cut the stems off. They dip it in a little jar of this, just quick dip. You take them out, you put them in your flower food, and it opens up all those little vessels in the stem so that the, you can actually drink water. If you ever had roses that their heads go down, they benefit from this. Cutting the stem, using the quick dip, will get them to drink once again and they'll be able to hold their heads up. We also have a designer friend that said she puts a little splash of this in all of her flower arrangements that she does for events. So two tablespoons, two tablespoons to a, a gallon, gallon of water. Mm -hmm. um, not on the instructions, but we get it from the professionals that they use it. So you might want to give that a try. Quick dip is seventeen ninety five. And Mary asks, will the CVBN tablets work on daffodils? And yes, daffodils that ooze. That all grows bacteria really quickly, and that's what the CBBN tablets combat, is the bacteria that would develop. So good question, Mary. Sorry, we're having trouble with our camera holder today, too. Okay, is it Monday? Okay, so now we have the holding solution tea bags. And the holding solution is what we would put flowers in when we want them to stay bacteria-free, but we don't want to give them any sugar and make them go further along because we want them to do that when they get to our customer or to our florist. So the tea bags, um, you would put one of these in your container of water and this shows your, your florist also that you're using something in the water. Um, it really does benefit the flowers and um, it really makes you look professional when you deliver flowers to your customers with that in it. So the holding solution, the small tea bag, and let's see, this is a half gallon is the small. That's like the black buckets we use yeah, at supermarkets. exactly, like the black buckets. You would put a couple of bouquets or three or four bouquets in. So it is $18.95, and then the larger ones are for a gallon of water, and there's 100 of these, and they're $36.95. And again, they just keep that water bacteria-free without giving it the extra stuff that flower food would. We normally would CVB in our flowers for four to um, four hours to th two days, 72 hours. Yeah, three days. Um, then they would get moved to the holding solution like this. When they're delivered. When they're moved out of those buckets when they're delivered. And then they will um, get flower food when they get to their end customer, either from the florist or if you're making bouquets to sell at markets, you would attach your flower food yep. to those bouquets and they would make it to the end customer. So now we're doing the giveaway. Reminder, I had thought I had that sitting out, sorry. So again, it's a $25 giveaway and you need to be present to win. So either hit the buy button now or you can in the comments put sold space 101 and that'll put you on the list for us to draw from at the end of the show. And then we'll put this right into your uh, account. All right, now my sister's gonna talk to you some more about flowers. All right, friends. Y'all ask such good questions. I don't always get to see the questions because I'm up here, um, but great questions. All right, so in case you've joined late, um, we are gonna be doing a little Q&A wrap up at the end. You can put your question at Lisa and that way they'll know to collect those. Um, and so we're gonna run through the seeds really quickly. Um, and so first off, we always mention that we have the desiccant packs that we recommend you store your seeds with. You can get a two pack for $2.95 or a 10 pack for $9.95. Um, and you buy seeds, y'all, the minute you learn about a flower or a plant you wanna grow and then you store them properly. So this is a great time of the year to get to know um, the vegetable planner. Actually, this side is what I'm gonna do. And this is your last frost date, and you just do the slide, move this line to when your last frost date is, and this tells you when to start your tomatoes, um, when to start all of your vegetable seeds. So this is just for vegetables. It's $5.95, and this is the best 
gift you could give to anybody that wants to start a vegetable garden along with some seeds. All right, so let's look at some of these veggie seeds that I actually succession plant here on the farm. This is um, the gourmet, this is, I'm sorry, the premium greens mix. This is a little spicier. We grow all of these that I'm getting ready to show you, these cool ones, in large containers so we can move them to the shade when we need to. So this is like an arugula kind of mix. Then this is my favorite. This is the gourmet leaf lettuce mix. This is so delicious. Y'all, once you try this, you will never buy lettuce again. So that's leaf lettuce. Now, we have, can I have my beets, please? So this is the beets, but let me show you what I just harvested from my garden. So first off, the tip is I always use my salad spinner to actually harvest so that I can just take them in and wash them. These are beet greens, y'all. These are excellent salad mixes. Um, you can try starting beets to grow beets this late, but it may not, they may not have long enough, but the, you do have long enough to grow the tops. These are delicious and nutritious for beet salad. I mean, there's just so many delicious things to grow. So those are the beets and ours are gorgeous. I also grow in those large containers um, the Easter egg radishes. It has all these different colors and varieties in there. And y'all, it's time for us to start growing our own basil, right? Um, so this is that delicious Genovesser. I can never say it right, y'all. Um, Bobo and I had this conversation. Um, but this is what everybody loves to make pesto out of. This is the best cucumber I've ever grown. This is Market More. It's everybody's favorite. All of my vegetable grower, farmer friends grow this one, y'all. And then we grow several peppers. This is the long, sweet Italian pepper. It's Carmen, and that is soup. And now's the time to start these seeds, y'all. And this is Olympus, the big bell pepper that if you harvest it early green or you can leave it till it gets red. My husband's very favorite, jalapeno. This is Jedi, and I know I'm going fast, y'all. We're running out of time, but remember at the end of the show, you go ahead, Je Susie. Next week, we are having problems reading comments, so he won't be able to do Q and A's. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the Q and A's will not work today. Save them for next week. Yeah. So we'll see if we can't harvest them and save them for next week, y'all. Um, so this is the jalapeno Jedi, which is. Steve's favorite. We totally love that. And y'all, it's time to start your rooster peppers, which is actually an ornamental for cuts, but it's a hot one. You can eat it too. But now is the time, and this is them dry. These are a year old, y'all. They're totally cash cows here on our farm. All right, so let me get where I'm going here. And we're also now starting our zucchini. Um, that is large blocker. The two inch blocker will start eight of these. Totally, I mean, we love zucchini. I mean, we have it with every meal. These are the bush beans. We do not start these indoors, y'all. I sow them directly in the garden. And we're waiting probably three or four more weeks before we're planting them out. It's just too cool outside. And y'all, it's tomato time. This is my very favorite little cherry. This is sun gold. If you're trying to get a kid to eat a tomato, that's the one that you really wanna use. And this is the San Marzano. This is the one that, you know, is that Italian paste that is just really great for cooking and rotisserie on your grill. Really love that. And this, hands down, is the most tasty tomato we have ever eaten. This is Cherokee Purple, and it looks like a bruised tomato, y'all, but it is scrumptious. We really love this. We canned a lot of those years and years ago. And then my go-to is Big Beef. This is the one that we rely on. It's very disease resistant. It produces big tomatoes and a lot of them. So we really love that. Now let's see what's actually blooming. Bobo made this little arrangement um, for a memorial that's happening tomorrow. And this is just going on the little table that when you come into the chapel. Um, so this is bunny tails, y'all. This is Calangela Ivory Prince Princess. And I'm just gonna turn it while we're doing this. And I don't change to it, I don't think, but there's um, there's not enough in here. There is some Cerinthi in here. I've got better Cerinthi to show you. But look how precious this is, y'all. 
in this little dish that Bobo made. Yeah, Pacific Beauty Center. Yeah, there's one or two. That's the dark orange. Pacific Beauties are the darker yellow, and it actually comes in orange. Um, but this is all, these were just starting to bloom, y'all. Um, and Bobo just took them and made something really, really beautiful. And y'all, what I want to say about early blooming is it's <clears throat> suffering. Um, it's it, Nothing's really growing really great yet because there's not enough heat, but yet we're getting flowers. So don't be discouraged because I'm feeling the very same way. This is, um, go ahead, sister. Have you ever smelled garden snaps? When I picked them up, it's like this is my first time I've smelt them this year, and they're glorious. Yeah, it is pretty daggum amazing. So this is Chantilly, which is the first snap to bloom in our garden. As There's not a lot of the great colors yet. Here are some of the lighter, the pink and the white. There's a pale yellow. Totally love this guy. These were fall planted. They winter over here beautifully. Um, and there's just nothing like snapdragons. People, I think I'm known for over-planting snapdragons. Um, and so they are the very first ones now. Susie, which color comes up first? All right, so these are all the sweet, but we're gonna look at them by color so she can bring them up so you can click it. This is Sweet William, and the variety's name is Sweet. Very confusing, whose idea was that anyway? So this is the white, and they're still kind of short, but we experienced it last year. They will start elongating and growing taller. Who does not need gorgeous white flowers, always? So that is the sweet, white, sweet William. And then we have the coral. These are the first colors to bloom. Look how pretty these are. And then there is black cherry. Um, this black cherry is really pretty dadgum scrumptious. All right, y'all. Then we have, look at these. Look how tall these guys are. This is Sorinthi. This is a real favorite for us for foliage and for these absolutely beautiful blooms. These were fall planted, and they are pretty magnificent. All right, so, skipping a mobium, Susie. All right, so what are we starting? I already showed you some Gumpfrina. Don't underestimate the power of Gumpfrina. This is Audra Pink, which is a hot color to have for your summer bouquets. This is the bicolor rose, which is by far my favorite. It just really has a unique look. We love the habit of the Audra, and then this is the mix, which has red and orange in it, which is kind of a nice mix up. Then we have Carmen, which is just pink. Purple. Oh. Oh, it's, I skipped, I'm sorry. So it, this is the purple, y'all. And you definitely want to get on the wait list for this. It'll be back in stock. It's just out of stock currently. Um, and then here is the pink, y'all. Um, I grow them all. I grow them all because they're incredibly valuable once you figure out how to cut them and grow them well. And this is the top of the bill white. This is useful all season through the summer and through the fall. And... We don't have a picture of the pastels mix, but that is like soft pink colors, and we just cannot wait to get images of that this year. Um, and friends, this is Azuratum Blue Horizon. This is a great summer flower to be in your rotation and your succession mix lineup, um, and we use multiple stems together if they get small and they really give a big bang. And y'all, we plant Limelight Millet, We've planted this every week with our sunflowers for years when we were in high production because who doesn't want a lime green spike, right? Totally love that. So the sad news is, is that because of the platform having these technology issues. I have a few. Um, so confirm with Jesse that we're not going to be able to do. Did the comments not come through? Is that the problem? Yeah, we thought they were. Yeah. They weren't, okay. So first off, I um, want to just remind everybody that we have tons of free resources over at thegardenersworkshop.com. We have videos, blogs, both of our podcasts are over there, both Field and Garden and Seed Talk with Lisa and Lane. And 
Yesterday's episode was fungus gnats for seed talk, tips to prevent and control. And this coming Wednesday, Ellen Frost is taking over Ask a Flower Farmer, and it's becoming, guess what? Ask a florist, because that's what Ellen is. She's a local flower florist. So that's Wednesdays at 1230 um, over on our Instagram account. If you're selling to florists or you're wanting to, she's your girl. She's the one that you want to ask. And if you're going over to our big website, friends, y'all also need to sign up for our newsletter. You aren't even going to believe what's launching next week. You don't want to miss that. Um, and so meet us back here next Friday um, inside the app. And I'm feeling fairly assured all the glitches will be resolved by then. And guess what next week is? Next weekend is mine and Suzanne's birthday. So we're going to be having a birthday party right here on the show. Send chocolate. <laughs> um, and we're going to be doing two prize drawings, one for each of us. And so we have a winner of our $25. And if you're here, we can't see in the comments, or maybe we can, but be sure that you email us. And you are Celine Keaton. Celine Keaton, if you are here. Selena. Selena, sorry. Selena Keaton, if you're here, claim your $25 store credit either in, in the comments as well as emailing us at info at thegardenersworkshop.com. And as soon as we get notified, we will load that into your cart. Um, and so... No Q&A today since we can't read the comments that were submitted. And friends, we thank y'all for being patient. And um, this hasn't happened for a long... Happy birthday, Carrie. Her birthday's <laughs> next week, too. Oh, I'm the 13th. Suzanne's the 14th. I got her for my first, fourth birthday party. My mother went into labor with her. And, um, yeah, so it's been... Selena's here. Oh, and Selena's here. Congratulations. So they are currently putting this into your cart. Um, so when you go to check out Selena, you'll have a $25 store credit. Um, and what a great day. If you need soul block and stuff, day, today would be the day to do that. So, friends, we're going to wrap it up here. And um, thanks for joining us. And thank you for being patient. You know, we're kind of at the mercy of technology, right? So we'll get figured out. And um, hope to see you back here next week. And please join Ellen on Wednesday for Ask a Florist on Instagram, 1230, 1230 Eastern Time. And um, Ellen will be there to answer your questions. So, all right, friends, till we meet again. Ciao.